All right, we're gonna be doing Amazon Flex today. So I was on the wait list for about two weeks. I finally made it onto the app and I got scheduled for Tuesday. All right, so it's Tuesday, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm keeping it out. I, I'm already scheduled for Wednesday, but I want to deliver today if I can, because that's what days I'm doing is Tuesday. And I want to be at Surprise. The other one I'm at a different location. So I have a few offers here. Um, these are basically showing up for around $19 an hour. And it's already more than I was getting. The other one, I would be two to five. I would like to obviously make more if I can, but I really want to just get started and learn how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this three hour one. How it goes, let's see. Swipe to schedule, you accepted the block. All right, let's see if I got it. Let's see, refresh. So all those blocks are probably gone because I'm officially scheduled then. So let's go back to my schedule. Today I will be working at 2 p.m. at the surprise location. Awesome, because that one is like really close to where I'm at. Let me go to my calendar. So this shows, you know, today's scheduled block and then tomorrow's. Tomorrow, like I said, is at a different location. I have up until 45 minutes before the start time to cancel it. All right, so if I am doing two to five, I need to um, surprise this five miles for me. It takes like maybe 10, we'll just say 15 minutes to get there so I can get, get gas. Um, and I wanna be there, you know, 15 to 10 minutes early. So I'll probably leave here at like 1 30 go get gas and then head over there i still might be um too early but that's fine i can wait in the parking lot i'd rather be extra early than not i'm doing a three hour block i'm getting paid 57 dollars. so if i take the full three hours it will basically average out to 19 dollars an hour the goal is obviously to finish faster than three hours but it's my very first day so i don't know how long it will take i don't know how many packages i'm gonna have um, at, I'm at the gas station, so I just filled up, so I'm ready to go. My three hours is from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It is 1.22. I live like five miles from the surprise location. That's the one I'm gonna be at today. So I'm curious to see like where it's gonna take me to deliver. I do have an old um, vest just from working in the other Amazon warehouse. It's not the prime vest. Um, so I am going to ask for a vest today and I still have my Amazon gloves. So I used to work in Amazon, I've worked in four different Amazon warehouses. I've worked in two fulfillment centers and two sort centers um, just during like the holiday season, during peak seasons. Um, so I'm excited to try the Amazon Flex because I get to just drive myself around. If you remember these bags, these are the bags I use when I'm doing, when I used to do Instacart deliveries. So I'm going to use this for all my envelopes. And if I have any apartment complexes, if I can fit small boxes and envelopes in there, depending on what we've got going on. Fingers crossed there's no apartments. Surprise doesn't really have that many apartments that I'm aware of, but I don't know. Again, it could be taking me, who knows where it's going to take me. All right, so let me show you real quick. If we're going into Amazon Flex, mm -hmm. if I'm on my... Um, Usually it has you, it brings you onto the um, update page. So then you can just go to these three dots and pick what you want to go to, or you can say schedule. And then it's going to show today, get ready for your start um, time. So I'm going to say go to start location. Um, do you have a temperature? Okay, so I, I closed the app and I restarted it because I think I accidentally, I read the question wrong. It asked, did you take your temperature? And is it under the 103? And you have to say, yes, I took my temperature and it's under that. I might have accidentally said no. All right, so I'm going up the side of this here. Okay. How do I pull in here? It looks like I... So I'm behind the warehouse now. It's to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way for now. Now I'm gonna park and wait over here because I'm early. All right, so I'm here at the warehouse. So I'm behind the warehouse. But like I said, I think I gotta go down. There's like one more street. I think I gotta go down that way to get around to pull through those lanes. Um, it says you can check in. I think you can check in 15 minutes early. It's 1.39, so I got at least like six minutes um, before I check in. And then I, like I said, I kind of wanted other traffic to be ahead of me so that I can follow along where to go. But I do have my, I have my ID handy right here in the door. And then I have my mask handy 
um, so that if I need it when I get in there. So on the app it says um, I've arrived, but from watching other videos I know I can't arrive more than 15 minutes early. Even if I push it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna say, oh, you can't check in yet. So normally I would like to pick up an earlier shift, but there was nothing earlier. I basically logged on the app. I was up really early this morning, like 5.45, 5.00 like six o'clock I logged on the app hoping I could maybe get something at eight I was already scheduled like on Sunday I was on the app looking and I got a block for Wednesday from 1 to 4 30 so it's three and a half hours but it was at the other location I call it Deer Valley like Cave Creek area but it's, it's still considered Phoenix but it's like North North Phoenix um, so I don't really want to go to that one because it's 18 miles from my house but it's one I'm willing to go to if I can't get one here this is the surprise one so my goal is once a week on Tuesday um, so what I did this morning I logged on I was able to get a block for three hours um, they had longer ones but because it was later it was like two to five I don't want to go past five o'clock just because you know my kids get out of school at three so they'll basically have you know they'll walk home or ride their bikes they have their cell phones so they'll call me when they're walking and when they get home and they can help themselves to snacks and stuff until I get home so I think five o'clock would be the latest I would be willing to work so two to five should be okay especially if I can finish a little early and then um, if I'm in the surprise if I start here it's closer to my house and then most likely I'll be delivering somewhere around here also being Tuesday I would think it's probably gonna be kind of slow so I'm assuming I won't have like 40 packages you know what I mean but we'll see all right so I'm seeing some people I'm a little nervous. Oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna go in this inside lane. Um, I think we have to put our blanker, our hazards on. So I'm putting my hazards on. Acting like I know what to do. Because I really don't know what to do. Speed limit is five miles per hour. I'm going way too fast. Let me slow down. Your check-in is in progress. Okay. So I think I just go this way. It says package return. Oh, I'm not returning. I'm picking up. Amazon Flex mm -hmm. check in here. Well, I don't see anyone. Um, it's my first day, so I don't know. Well, I guess I go in this next lane. Okay, they're guiding me. Cool, because I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Craziness. my first day. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Hold on one second. Oh. I, think, I think this guy's gonna come around. Okay. What is your name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Yeah. Or you can say Jackie, yeah. But can you uh, take your vehicle for me? Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna grab your route for you. Okay. Um, then once do you this guy gets parked right here, then everybody will be able to get out. Um, and you can go ahead and start scanning your packages and load the vehicle how you'd like. Alright, okay. did you need my ID? Nope. I don't need your ID. Alright, perfect. Do you guys happen to have any more of those Vests, the blue, the. I may have a couple vests inside. What size vests you see inside? Extra small or whatever the smallest comes in. I'll see you yeah, there. thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I need it. All right, we can go out now.
getting it. Okay. <laughs> Is this your first time ever doing this? Yeah. Okay. I've so. worked at like the I've worked at four different Amazon warehouses, but I've never like done this oh. part. Yeah. Do you, so do you understand how the uh, the driver aid numbers and everything work on? So here? like I understand like this is a separate route from this one, right? Is uh, that what that part of it me, means? It might be a different area. It could um, be the same area. They just... Like I've seen other people where it's like it tells you like how many bags per like spot. So this number I'm not sure. So uh, it really depends on how it's sorted, obviously. But, um, Everything will be in sequence. So 9189, mm -hmm. there will be a 9190 probably in this bag. Okay. So um, you just have to figure out where, where your first stop is, mm -hmm. and you find that bag, and then go up from there. Okay. So, and then it will count up from and there. And everything will be in sequence. So you can right. line everything up in your vehicle and know Perfect. exactly where it needs to go. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Hurry. I have a question. So it keeps telling me with like these last one says I've already scanned them, but I haven't. It says you already scanned them. Yeah. And then it's showing me like I've scanned everything in here, but I don't know. It's possible. But then I still have stuff in there, you know what I mean? Huh. But it just uh, it says like it's showing that it is scanned with the black button. Yeah. yeah. And those ones. I haven't scanned them yet. Oh. But like as I'm scanning it, like that's just like the last five I did. Says the same thing. Oh. I wonder if you accidentally scanned the bag. I know, might have. In which it would have scanned automatically, kind of scanned, scanned everything. all of them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well. So, should be good. Then. If it messes up, then I'll re. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be fine. Then. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Twenty seven stops. It's 2.10, so it took me a while to load up. Okay, I'm like so red already. It's like 82 degrees out. Um, okay, so I have like 44 packages, 27 stops. It says it should take me two hours to complete. Obviously, I'm brand new. It took me, because I, I got there at 1.45. It is 2.10, 2.11, 2 2.12, basically 2.15. Basically taking me, um, Took me about a half hour to load up because I wasn't, I couldn't figure out what to scan first because I think it kept telling me to scan the route. And then when I tried to scan the route, like nothing, I didn't know if I was scanning the right thing. So I ended up just scanning something. But then as I'm loading up the packages, like at the end there, you guys will hear it on the, um, you might hear it. It says that it, it kept saying I had already scanned some of the stuff. So I was kind of like, ah, I don't know what I did. So they're like, oh, you probably just scanned that thing and said that's fine. Just. Yeah, that's fine. Basically, they probably just want me to get out of there because I took forever. Um, but the way they have it set up is like four lanes, and that was fine. Like they let people in and out. Like as they're done, there's a lot of space. There's enough space for them to do. But then they said, "Oh, do you understand it?" And it basically said the yellow sticker will have like whatever your first route is. From there, everything should go up numerically. Now there were oversized boxes, and then there were two like bags full of smaller boxes and bags I just kept those things together in my car so I really don't know <laughs> where anything's at right now I figured if I have to pull over and sort stuff like later I will um, I just wanted to get out of there because I felt like oh my gosh like I don't know what I'm doing I think next time will be better because I have a better idea of like maybe what to scan um, they did have an extra small vest which is cool um, it says this first one I'm delivering three packages I do want to take a better look at my route map. I know that was one of the tips people were saying, look at your route map. And like if you have apartments, you might want to tackle apartments first because you're going to get tired and that way you get it out of the way. Or if you have things that need to be delivered by a certain time, get those done. So I might, you know, try to do that, um, look at my thing. But for now, I'm just heading to the first location. On my uh, third delivery, I just want to try a few. So I, I actually did a good thing. I had my first route, all the first boxes up here in the front seat with me, so that's good. Um, there's an envelope, 188, so I know where to get it. I just put my hazards on, leave my car running because it's hot. 188. Make sure it's the right address. Here, parked.
I'm officially on my last delivery. It is four o'clock. So yeah, they said that was supposed to be like a two hour delivery. I thought that would be two hours in addition to me getting stuff. Um, so I started off by following the route and it had a lot of like groupings, like it grouped a lot of orders together because they, they're like across the street from each other. So it threw me off a little bit. Um, and then I just stopped going in order of the way they were trying to have me go in order. I just started doing, um, I would just look at the map and be like, okay, where's the next closest one? So I switched up the route a little bit um, and I was able to get a little bit better of a groove. Um, but I was really surprised I actually loaded my car pretty good. I don't know if I showed you guys a picture of what, where everything was, but um, I'm literally on my last package, um, which I think is, so I've had, um, I did a bunch of houses and then um, two businesses. This last one is a business as well. Um, and I did have to actually park in the parking lot. I couldn't just keep my car running. So I'm gonna turn my car off and get my car key. And we're gonna go ahead and um, we'll see on this one in a minute here. Um, and then we're done. We did not even drive that far because it was all like legit in the same uh, neighborhood. So I drove less than um, driving DoorDash. But let me see. Let me scan this real quick. So I've parked. Deliver to the front desk. Okay, so this is 650. I believe it's around the corner here. Okay, so I read. Scan the package. Medium box. Okay. Continue. One package. All right, so I gotta go. Okay, so I went in there. Receptionist. Continue. Karina. what they said right down I have to finish I think I'm all done I was like my last one I'm just gonna double check my car okay cool so I'm just gonna double check make sure I didn't have any random you know extras so I believe um, you could try to pick up more offers Oh yeah, see they have five if I wanted to, but I'm good because I did my thing. All right, so I'm probably a <laughs> little sweaty. So this is 84 degrees out. Um, yeah, so it's 4.07, I'm officially done. So if you say, you know, I left the sort center. So I got this, got to the sort center at 1.45. It took me like 20, 20, 25 minutes to load up my car just because um, it got, it took me a minute to get going to scan stuff and just to feel confident in like what I was doing, you know, trying to assess like what was going on. Um, so when I got there, this was hanging on the rack. So when I pulled up, there was like four or five lanes. They had me pull up. You might see it in another video. Um, and then they pulled a cart behind my car. So then I kind of just looked at, okay, what do we got going on? And then it said to scan the route or something. I was kind of like, oh, I was trying to scan stuff and it wasn't letting me scan it. So I ended up scanning this barcode and then it popped up saying I had 44 packages, um, six commercial packages. Um, so then when I start, then I started scanning. So I started scanning the oversized, I scanned the oversized boxes first. Um, and then it showed me the list. You guys probably saw it on the app if I hopefully I recorded it. Um, and so it was showing it coming up. So I was like, okay, it's showing that's coming up. And then I started loading those in the trunk. But then I had one really, really big box that was like dog food. So I had to take stuff out of the trunk and then put that one in. And then I wasn't able to put all of them in the trunk, which actually worked out anyways, because then I put the oversized behind me. Then I had two bags full of smaller boxes. So I looked on the list of the boxes or the like itinerary. But basically it, once it were showing me like, okay, this box got scanned, checked, this one got scanned, checked. And then it would show me like the, a route number. So I had two route numbers. So I basically loaded it kind of in order of what I figured. So the one on top, I was like, okay, I figured this is probably the first route number. So everything from that little bag I put in my front seat so I put all the envelopes in the my one of my bags on the floor and I put all the boxes on my front seat and then I did the same thing in the back I put all for the second route my second bag I put all the envelopes in the other 
bag I have, I put that kind of like in the middle and then I put the boxes there and it actually worked out perfectly because that was the way the route went and then on the labels it would say like on the yellow label it would have like nine nine one one four right so it would tell you like that was like that's your first number and then the next number and they go kind of in a sub like they kind of go in order but they had me do a few that were kind of out of order. Like I did a few nines and then all of a sudden I had like an eight. Um, but I was able to find everything, I feel like, in a timely manner. I mean, I finished it. They said it was a two hour route. It's a, It was a three hour block, so I got paid for three hours, but it only took me two hours to do it. And that was including loading my car. So I don't know if that was just really good or what, or because I have experience. Like I said, I used to deliver newspapers, I've delivered pizzas, I've delivered for Instacart, DoorDash. So I get, I kind of get used to like, how do I use my map and how do I see that I can find the addresses on houses really fast. So I think that helped. I didn't have any missing packages. I didn't have any extra packages. I did have the weird thing at the end when I was scanning at this sort center, or I keep saying sort center, at the delivery center, where it said, you've already scanned this, you've already scanned this. So he's like, oh, you probably just scanned the bag instead of scanning the individual boxes. He's like, it should be fine. So I figured, okay, well, when I get out there, if I'm missing a box or I have too many boxes, then I could figure it out. But everything is accounted for. Everything went through, showing it was a delivered. I did have... Um, three businesses where I delivered it to the receptionist and I put their name or the business name on the um, in the thing in the app I can't talk and then I had uh, just a bunch of houses regular houses I didn't have to worry about um, any gates any gate codes any gated communities all regular houses I did my best to put the package kind of behind a pillar or something by the door um, I would take the picture and ring the doorbell just like I do with DoorDash um, I did have one person meet me at the door um, so we were chatting for a little while so I could have even got done faster and then I had another person who was coming out and I said I was like hey do you want um, do you want me to leave these on the because it looked like she was getting ready to leave I said oh do you want I said I'm here to deliver um, your Amazon orders do you want me to leave them at the door do you want to grab them she's like but they were actually the big they were those big boxes of dog food so she grabbed a box and I grabbed a box um, and we took those to her door and I actually did kind of slice up my arm a little bit I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it. But anyway, so um, because that box was really big, I had to carry it. Um, but I'm used to dealing with those boxes when I worked at the Amazon Sort Center. Because at the Sort Center, I worked in non-con, which means non-conveyor belt. So they're boxes that are too heavy, too big, a weird shape. And that's where I worked. And I processed like 400 boxes um, in my four hour shift, I would process about 100 boxes an hour. So delivering 44 boxes was like nothing. Um, it, I loved it. As of right now, I've only driven 10.9 miles. That, that's basically from the gas station where I filled up to the warehouse, all of my deliveries. I still need to go home, which is about seven miles. So we'll say 17 miles total. And I got done in two hours. I mean, more than I would on DoorDash, and all the houses are right next to each other. So you're not you're not waiting for orders. You're not you don't have to go back and forth to different stores because in Arizona, like we basically have like here's a cluster of stores, and then there might be a random McDonald's or a random Burger King like far away. But you pretty much have to keep driving back to like those clusters of stores. Um, same thing like if you're delivering pizza specifically for one company, like I used to do Domino's, you had to go back to that same store every time. So that wastes a lot of mileage. Um, my first experience doing the Amazon Flex with the surprise location was good. Yeah, I felt a little slow loading the car, but I loaded the car properly or in a decent way based on the videos I watched by kind of keeping the bags or you know the bag or route numbers together and then um you know the people that work there said yeah all the the once you know what your first delivery is all the next order should come pretty much those orders the number on that tag should count up um i did have one i did have one bag that i went to because i, I passed a few houses and i was like oh Oh my gosh, this is taking me in a weird spot. So I was going to skip those and do the next one because I was right next to there, but then I couldn't find that package. So I was like, never mind, let me go back there. So that was the only hiccup I went. And then I went back on the route. Um, eventually, I found it. It was in the second, my second little tote bag. Yeah, it was all like all in the same neighborhood. That was awesome. 
I did get my Amazon shirt. Alright, so I didn't end up putting it on because I was just like, I just want to get going. Um, but I'm definitely going to wear it. I'm going to wear it next time. What I think is cool is my car is the same color, like matches the color of my car. Um, so it's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm an Amazon delivery driver. Um, the other thing I might get is I found online, they have like these little magnetic like things you can put on your car. They have one for Amazon Flex, they have one for DoorDash. Um, so I might order me one for DoorDash and Amazon, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna do DoorDash. I'm probably gonna do Amazon because I, I really felt good about today. So I, I got paid $57. I was supposed to do three. It was supposed to take me three hours, which would have been nineteen dollars um, an hour. It took me it took me only two hours, so I made twenty eight dollars and fifty cents for that for each hour. And the warehouse is really close to my house, so it only takes me ten minutes to get there, versus like my husband who has to drive like almost thirty miles to his job. So yeah, that was great. Twenty eight. That was even better than DoorDash. So I'm, I averaged twenty eight fifty an hour. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking up another Tuesday. You know, if I feel like I want to do Friday, I'm, I'll look one or two to four or five. It's not bad. It's just, it's, I just got to be prepared to be hot for a couple hours if, if I'm going to do it through the summertime. My goal is 50 bucks a week. I made 57 um, for this week. So I made my goal. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.